We're following some breaking news out of Georgia now. The three men convicted of killing Ahmad Arbery are being sentenced on hate crimes charges. Travis McMichael and his father Gregory were both sentenced to life in prison today. In the next hour, William Bryant's sentence is expected to be handed down as well. All three men were found guilty on federal hate crime charges back in February. Now, the killing of Ahmad Arbery made national headlines after video showed those men chasing him through a neighborhood in Georgia and shooting him in the middle of a street. I want to bring in NBC News correspondent Ron Allen and NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos now. Uh, Ron, I'll start with you on the ground there. Walk us through what happened in court so far today. Well, for the first time, there was an apology from Greg McMichael, the elder McMichael, the father of Travis McMichael, the man who actually pulled the trigger, uh, but who was also involved in the, in the hunt for and the chase of Ahmaud Arbery. He apologized to the family. He said that he wanted to assure them that there was never malice in his heart or his son's heart that day and that he never wanted this to happen. And this is the first time that they've ever said anything like that, and especially directly to the family. This, of course, as Travis Michael, then his father, were handed life sentences in federal prison uh, this afternoon. There's one more hearing to come for uh, Ronnie, uh, William Bryan, the third defendant in this case, who was also convicted of several felonies that could land him in federal prison for the rest of his life as well. Uh, they already are serving time in state prison, and much of the hearing today, for the McMichaels at least, was focused on their attorneys trying to get the judge to sentence them to serve their time in federal prison instead of state, state prison, saying that there were death threats, that it was a, a backdoor death penalty for Travis McMichael to go into a Georgia state prison. They also pointed out that the Federal Department of Justice is investigating violence in the Georgia Department of Corrections and has been for a number of years. Uh, so that was what, what a lot of the hearing was. The judge rejected all that ordered the men sent back to state prison to begin serving this life sentence and adding on yet another one in federal prison. You know, Danny, all three of these men had submitted guilty pleas in this case. The judge threw those pleas out. Help us understand that. How, why did that happen and, and how could that have affected the sentences that we are seeing handed down today? A defendant does not have an absolute right to have his guilty plea agreement accepted by the judge. Anytime I have a client enter into a guilty plea agreement, I have that moment of anxiety because I still know there's another hurdle. The judge has to approve of it. And in this case, there was pushback because the family uh, of Arbery uh, was not pleased at the idea of them being able or being recommended to spend their sentence in federal as opposed to state prison, which is really an interesting thing because a federal judge has very limited power to even control where a defendant spends his federal sentence, let alone a Georgia state sentence. So all really a judge can do is make a recommendation. Normally, uh, once you're uh, sentenced, you are property of the BOP, the Bureau of Prisons. And in this case, because Georgia first got its, uh, I guess its procedural clause into these gentlemen, now Georgia gets to control their sentence. And only after they finish serving their Georgia sentence, will they be sent over to serve their federal sentence. And the federal judge doesn't have a whole lot of discretion there. All right, NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos, Ron Allen for us on the ground in Georgia today. Gentlemen, thank you both.